We are 76 days into the Biden presidency. So, he's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's already 70 days longer than we expected. Lots of Biden policies and plans to report on, and yet journalists can't stop talking about you know who. I'd love to hear from both of you how DC journalists are adjusting to the Biden era. Jim, this is your first weekend anchoring here on, on, on Saturday and Sunday afternoons. Do you feel like your rundown, your lineup is, is really different than it would have been in the Trump years? When you're asking me if I was run down, I thought you were referring to how I felt during the Trump era. Uh, no, I think that, you know, listen, uh, we're, I think we're all dealing with some post-Trump stress disorder, uh, you know, other than that happy <laughs> Easter, as he was saying in those statements a few days ago. Oh, what a bozo. Yeah, these chuckle buckets are having a hard time drying out from the Trump era, even though they can call it a day at 4.30 in the afternoon while President Biden's digesting his early bird tapioca. <laughs> It's almost like they'll find a Trump connection to any news item out there. And one network is cornering the market. You're watching ATN, all Trump news, because everything else is boring by comparison. I'm Anderson Lemon with the headlines. The annual Global Retirement Index is out with its latest list of the best places in the world to spend your golden years. Topping the list this year, Costa Rica, followed by Panama and Mexico. Sources say if Trump is elected in 2024, we can expect all Americans to retire and move to literally any country where Trump is not president. And I'll be on the first plane to Bermuda with a suitcase full of edibles. Police in Georgia say a weekend traffic jam was caused by a loose cow running along Interstate 285 near Atlanta, possibly spooked by a phone call from Donald Trump. Cars were at a standstill for about an hour until police were able to safely capture the cow and return it to its owner. Sources say this never would have happened if Donald Trump had an infrastructure plan that consisted of more than just turning wayward cattle into well-done steak. I swear, I do not know how we ever survived that guy. <clears throat> and a new study shows that people cannot tell the difference between screams of joy and screams of terror. Researchers at Emory University say the two types of screams have similar acoustics. For example, if I attended a Sugar Ray concert in the 90s, sheer joy. <laughs> Whereas if I attended a Trump rally, unmitigated terror. <laughs> Thank God I'll never have to see those again. I mean, all those happy people with the flags and the children and the grandparents and the YMCA. Ah! makes me sick to my stomach. <sighs> Seriously, I think I need to see my gastrologist. Although he voted for Trump twice. Oh God, I hate him! <laughs> More headlines in 30 minutes. I'm Anderson Lemon. <laughs> I am worried about her. Uh, um, <laughs> Eric, what, what is it? What is it like to know that your dad has like a really unusual psychological effect on people, <laughs> especially in the media? It's just strange, unless, you unless you've experienced it yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, trust me, I've experienced it myself. And by the way, <laughs> to see Acosta act like that, it, it's, it's actually like incredibly refreshing, but it's true, guys. I mean, can I, can I call it for what it is? I mean, Biden is boring as hell. Yeah. Kamala's nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine if I acted the way that some of the Biden kids did, meaning if I took one penny from China, if I took one penny from the Ukraine, mm -hmm. if I was smoking Parmesan cheese. Yes. <laughs> I mean, meaning he couldn't have gotten elected, right? Let, yeah. let's, let's just be very Watch honest it. about this, right? <laughs> Watch done. what you say about people who smoke Parm cheese. Oh, no, not again. Can we let that topic go? <laughs> but, but listen, they can't, they can't help themselves. It is. I watched well, Cena try. Right, it is all Trump all the time. They can't let him go. I mean, remember remember how entertaining the press conferences were back yeah. in the day, right? And well, they're shouting, Jim Acosta, the 25th Amendment, is he medicated? My, my father's never had a sip of wine in his life. He's never done any drugs in his life. Is he a medicated person? Right? Now they have nothing to talk about. They have no one to rant and rave. Their ratings stink. Mm -hmm. You know, Twitter's boring. Well, it's harder because before, all they had to do was roll a tape and then just sit there and go, wow. Yeah. Wow. It's like not over, presidential. Right, that's not having PTSD. Like, now that that's over, they now have to think. Right. They now need to think a little harder. It's like, it's nothing like PTSD. It's more, and it can be tough. It's, it's like when you shut your brain off, like you go to Bonnaroo, 
yes. for a couple days. And then you're in the car on the way to the airport on the way back and you're like, can I still read? Like, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that, which is hard and scary. Yeah. But That's when you think you think you might have done some kind of permanent damage because right. temporarily you think it's over. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> but you can work through it. It's not PTSD. It's just, you know, you're a little rusty on the thinking. Tyrus, I guess, I mean, the, the thing is, we're almost guilty of the same thing because we're sitting here talking about it too. No, but it's different. And you guys could yeah. not all be wronger. <laughs> this has nothing to do with... TTS Trump dis what it's bank disorder. Ah, it's low I, it's I low ratings. Every disorder. time he I interview, he, I got to write a book about him. I was making <laughs> money about him. Yes. I was getting promotions because he picked on me in a press conference. Right. He was good for my bottom line. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody buying a book that didn't have Trump's name on it. Mm -hmm. Remember, I wanted to just put a book out that just said Trump, 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 just 365 pages of Trump. 1995 is yours. <laughs> because that's what's really hurting. They pockets because they can't have books anymore. They can't get paid for one-on-one -on -one interviews to talk about the time mm -hmm. that he told them he was unfair. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this has nothing to do with this is they're hoping that they will say something because in the past, if you took a shot at President Trump, hit fire a two-piece back at you, mm -hmm. and then boom, you got a book again. <laughs> and you on the you on everyone's TV show because you got breaking news. President Trump insulted me. Roll the tape. That's right. And then when they <laughs> they come right. back like wow and then you get a panel of 47 people to talk about it and then and two weeks later, my book, Trump yes. terrorized me. That's what's going on. You know, buying Jim Acosta in my day at work book. They don't want to <laughs> <laughs> it's like Brian Stelter's pop up book. Like, who wants to see that? Oh, a pop up book by Brian Stelter? Think about it. What would be popping up? I don't know. I, I, well, at least it's, at least it's not uh, Jeffrey Tubin. That pop up book would be really <laughs> bad. Really bad. All right, enough of the pop up book jokes, cat. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 try, Tyra, I, I disagree. I, I think they do suffer from a psychiatric disorder at CNN. Mm -hmm. um, I've wondered what it was. I thought it was narcissistic personality disorder. Um, I've seen all the symptoms, the delusions of grandeur, uh, the rambling on about imaginary, irrelevant subjects. That can also happen at Bonnaroo. <laughs> yeah, this is true. But I mean, they've tried. They've tried to replace Trump with Joe Biden's German Shepherd. Right. They're, they're trying. To, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, they're trying to get us interested in this. It's like bewitched after they took the first Darren away. It's it's, it's a boring <laughs> show. Um, and, and and I don't blame them. But the problem is not Trump. The problem is when he went away, it revealed how sick. In fact, they really were. They no longer had somebody to bounce it off of. Yeah, so you're saying Trump is Dick York and Biden is Dick Sargent. Exactly. Yes. And Hunter Biden's just a Yes. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> do you? Do you have to bleep that? I don't think you have to bleep that no, because- You can use it as a name. It's a you name. You can use it's it a as name. a name. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Short for Richard. Richard Richard. Sorry, there Richard you go. Richard.